Hi everyone, welcome back to Rata Reading. It's great to have you guys back here on this channel. If you are first time here, guys, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be doing one of my favorite topic, which is what is the latest gossip on you. It's more on curiosity. It will be great to get to know what actually people are talking about you at your back. But I would suggest, guys, these are just more on your curiosity. Just get to know about this. If this uh, this messages does not resonate with you, you should let it go, let it fly. You should not take it by heart. So. Um, let's get started here i've already pulled out the cards for you as usual so we have here pile one today i have i've actually arranged it accordingly so we're going to be using this uh dinosaurs as the pile selection here this is kind of showing the tongue out this is going to be pile one pile two is the dinosaur coming out of an egg here it's kind of showing very cute cute teeth the dinosaur has and this dinosaur is eating ice cream so you can select whichever that attracts you or drawing you you can select more than a pal if you have more than a person to more than a situation that you want to know what they talk about you and it's a gentle reminder guys this is a general reading so take whatever message that resonates with you only guys so i will see you at your pal selection hey welcome group number one this is for whoever selected this dinosaur which is showing the teeth out as if like teasing energy it's more on a teasing energy so let us see what is the latest gossip about you what people talk behind your back what you are being famous about before we proceed on this card, before we look into the card that I've already pulled up for you, Paul Warren, I want to check on the zodiac, the possible zodiac sign of the people that gossiping about you. So let us see. It's kind of giving me the energy as if this could be people who could have lied about you. This could be people that actually saw you as an amazing unical or mystical human being but they can't accept that you are very mystical so they are trying to gossip about you to get some sort of a release i would say but let us see what is a possible zodiac sign we have group one we have here neptune Neptune rules Pisces. We have number 21. This number can be significant here. We have Mercury. Mercury rules Gemini. Mercury rules Gemini and Virgo. We have number 15 here. And lastly, we have Virgo. Yes, Virgo. This person might have a strong Virgo, number six, or this could be someone that you know to work, to gym, to some sort of organization, a foundation, uh, or this could be someone that might have some sort of a health issue. But let us see more. So these are the possible signs here. Maybe I'll just put it at the side here so that you can see. So let us see what is the latest gossip on your group number one. We have here transformation and change. We have here shit is going down with your job. Behind here we have re-evaluate to change your perspective or just quit. We have here number 10, we are the world. This is a 10 of pentacles here. We have here three of wands. Three of wands talks about builds love between friends and family sorry friends and enemies love of a woman we have six of cup here talks about gives one a good reputation yeah again make one beloved by friends and foes we have here help from above number 27 we have number six again uh, material and spiritual prosperity we have your three of cups. Let 
We have two of cups here. We have fair number 33, sexual arts. We have here the strength card here. and lastly we have the lion card here so you might have a strong leo or this person sees you to be really expensive this is one of the energy that i'm getting it's like more on a regal like expensive like this can be talking about your hair if you are a female here this person talks a lot about your hair probably this person thinks that you are investing a lot probably you are spending a lot of your money your uh, finance here in terms of taking care of your hair you could be someone that really pamper yourself it does not necessarily just have to be hair it can be about pampering yourself taking care of yourself very well you want to look good you want to uh, really look nice probably this person perceive you to be someone that spending money on that so this person gossip about your hair the way how you look the way how you carry yourself and also uh, with this strength card it kind of gives me the energy that you are intentionally want to look good probably with the sexual art cards it gives me the energy that you want to gain or this person probably uh, put have uh, light or spread rumors that you have gained some sort of a stability financial stability or prosperity even a job or any changes that came to your life through sexual through sexual um, through sexuality through you looking good for of you maintaining yourself here and you want to seduce probably through seducing because we have a love of a woman here like with this three of wands it give me the energy that this person probably gossip that you wait you wait for your victim and you trick them you trick them through your sexuality to gain the prosperity and for some of you this person can even say that you probably are good in manip manipulating or to use your communication wisely the 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 art or they call it the gift of gap here in order to gain what you want because we have a material and spiritual prosperity here so this person definitely gossip a lot about the great blessing that you have at this very moment because uh, probably you definitely are going through or went through some sort of a situation here because we have a transformation and change and we have a sheet is going down with your job this definitely could be something very much related to your job or your financial status here could want if uh but not necessarily but for most of you this can be like colleague co-workers like your boss or someone here or someone like your business partner, someone that you have collaborated partner to wait, someone that at one point of time you probably had a very happy, uh, bubbly time going out, probably you went out with this person. So what I'm saying here that this person feels or gossip that things there's a lot of uh, bad things is happening around you or to you, but yet uh, you are just taking things very lightly so this it's kind of uh, making them amazed in reality it's probably it's help from the above you are very much divinely blessed definitely i am seeing that uh, you are kind of uh, probably you in the past you had this control issues you probably want to control your situation or your life especially your financial stability i'm saying group number one but due to this transformation or somehow you learned to let go to surrender so that could be the reason why i'm saying you are flowing right now you are very much flowy but this person is kind of telling that you are very much relaxed you are in this chilling energy that's what making them to really cracking their head because they want to know how you could possibly do all of this how can you remain calm remain composed remain uh, 
in peace of mind when there is the when the waves are hitting high there's uh, so much of things are happening and you're not taking action you are keeping a poker face uh, yet this person definitely see that things are happening for you like i'm saying victory is coming your way you are celebrating or you are being celebrated by others people are really having fun with this we are the world i'm saying like there are people actually coming and people are attracted towards you like people see you that you have everything what they need like you are very much safe for them to come in like like you are the shelter like you provide shelter to others but this person feels that this things comes in this compliment this happy things this wonderful things comes in in a very bad way because you are being in this stagnant energy like in a very passive energy this person sees you to be you are not making any any action there's too much action is happening if you can see this person is just uh, looking holding but just looking, this woman is walking. It's all in a very monotonous way. There's no much action from your end. And that's what making them to wonder to the point that they are willing to gossip about this because this person feels that you might be doing all this action in the behind of uh, four walls in a room. Like you have strategized your way, probably using the sexual energy, the sexual arts, something that you are good at it. This could be someone that might be having some sort of a like what i mentioned earlier health it can be this is a person who are very much jealous or insecure about their body or they might be feeling or ashamed about their body the way how they look or even about the their look so they are not really comfortable with their skin whereby they see you you are totally opposite of that and you definitely someone that people want to have a relationship with with the six of cups like you could be someone that a lot of people would be coming forward to you and say that they know you like you look very familiar like people like you have this very welcoming this warmth this uh, you easy for you to make a good reputation to it uh, with others here whereby they are not someone like you so that could be the reason why for others here with this strength card also it's give me the energy that people can even gossip that you can be very greedy greedy this could be greedy in terms of uh wanting to keep this for yourself like you are very defensive or you are very protected towards your victory your prosperity your abundance here you are willing to push anybody down like you're willing to fight with any forces or you are willing to change your own friend into an enemy here if you are seeing them uh, taking away your abundance here or stealing away from you like this person sees you to be someone that willing to detach yourself uh, although you know them for a while so uh, it makes them even more curious and it shows me with this uh, image here probably you might be went through some transformation here and this is your spiritual journey and that's made who you are but this person sees you to be became or somehow this person feels that uh, right now they are seeing your true color probably this could be one of the reason why they are actively gossiping about your group one this person feels that you have changed or they have just recently realized your true color that you could be someone very self-centered you want the all the attention on you you want people to uh, just go around you like the whole world evolve around you like you should be on top of the world you're on top of the sky you should be shine your light should be shine brighter than anyone else like people need to reach out to you yeah this is one of the other things that i'm saying with the sexual energy probably you are wanting to attract attention you want a lot of suitors around you you want people to be uh, admiring your beauty admiring your look uh, so this can be even posting a lot of uh, pictures here this person could even say that you are posting a lot of pictures something which is like you are not really happy you are not really because we have fitness here because we have virgo here 
and Mercury talks about Gemini too. It's all having fun, playful energy, energetical energy, lively energy. So if there's any sort of activities, traveling pictures that you are posting online, this person feels that you are intentionally doing to attract people to like you. And what else I could see here with this lion Virgo? This Virgo energy, that's what is quite upsetting for me personally on this pile for you guys, group one, because it gives me the energy of uh, this person probably could even gossip that you might be like uh, acting as if you are a prude, that you are very innocent, that uh, you don't really involve um sexually with anyone like you can easily get offended or easily be a bit sensitive on this uh, sexual topics here but uh in reality this person can um will be lying could have lied about you that you could be someone that might have multiple partners here this person might have a strong earth sign here right this person might have a strong earth sign or this person might have a strong taurus This person gossip a lot about your love life or about your partnership, about your relationship. Probably this person could be a Libra. This person could be someone that might have some sort of a, a limitation from their end. So when they see that limit, that particular limitation is being fulfilled or is being fulfilled in your life, it's kind of becoming a topic for this person to gossip good one, which is all about stability sexuality and this sexuality is very much connected to relationship romantic relationship so this could be someone that just want to be in a relationship just to feel secured comfort protected or they just need someone to comfort them but they are not happy or they are not really satisfied wherever or with whoever they are but in return when they see you with this number 33 i'm saying that you definitely are receiving some sort of a help here you are divinely protected if you can see you are protected in both mostly on moon which you might have a strong water sign here or this be coming from your past life because it's happening subconsciously so whoever that attracted towards you or look uh, might be telling you that you look familiar it could be some sort of a past life connection here so that could be one of the reason why it's easy for you to build a rapport to build a connection with others but this person doesn't like it so this person feels it will be great to gossip about you because they kind of feeling very much empty when they see that things are really happening but things are going down for them especially financially here so we have number six 15 again six 21 these numbers can be very significant here because we have yeah, 3663. You might want to Google this angel number, 3663. You might have an additional message there, group one. So this is what pretty much I am picking up for you, the latest gossip about you guys. I really hope this reading resonates with you and could give you some insight that you are looking forward to. Till then, I will see you on my next reading, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, welcome, group number two. This is for whoever attracted to this dinosaur that coming out of an egg here. So let us see. I'm saying here, what is this gossip? It's all about like there's something that came to fruition. This can be a manifestation. This can be something that you gave birth. This can be your your creation, something that you worked very hard for. It came into reality, like you able to brought your idea, your creation into reality here. And they are gossiping about that. So this is what majorly I'm picking up for you, Paul, too. Yeah, this could be someone like a strong thinker here, someone who thinks a lot or probably this person thinks heavily about you, group too. I'm seeing that like this person is willing to, to really stop whatever they are doing whenever they hear your name or they, when they hear someone is talking about you. 
uh, and I'm saying that they kind of wanting to really engage in that conversation to know more about you. This person probably gossip about you because they want to know more about you group too. So let us see. This could be someone that probably have already have children, have kids, but not necessarily. Or this person sees you to, to have a strong inner child, like you have the strong exciting adventurous side of you and that could be something very disturbing for them so before we look on this card that i've pulled out for you group two i'm going to pull out some possible zodiac sign for you of this person that gossiping about you so we have your libra number seven we have air air rules libra gemini aquarius here and we have Gemini. Okay, back of the deck, we have Aquarius. All the air sign is out on the table here. So definitely, this is a person, like I mentioned, you are playing heavily on this mind. So why is it so? Because this person probably uh, predominantly have her air sign on your chart or heavily. So that could be the reason why that you are have occupied their mind. Right? So let us see. This person could be angry over you, over something. But let us see. We have 7. We have 25, which has come out to 7 too. And then we have number 3 here. So what is the latest gossip on pile 2? We have here speak from... Speak your mind. We have here speak your mind. We have here number 35, home. We have your number 11, take off your mask. We have your three of wands. We have your transformation. We have your five of salt, which talks about afflicts we, uh, afflicts man for many dates with wounds full of rot and maggots. Give me the energy like uh, this person's narcissistic. We have four of sort here. We have your stop obsessing. And back we have here you are not the F center of the universe, right? Okay. Yeah, this person feels very angry over something about you. Group two. And we have your completion. Yeah, this is one of the things that I got it just now because we have 7 and 3, so 10. It's kind of completed a cycle here. Probably you have left the situation involving this person. But you definitely still playing heavily on this person's mind. We have 6 of wands here. We have victory. And we have here 2, intuition. This talks about intuition so definitely this could be someone here that uh, i'm seeing here that could be some sort of in a confrontation happened this person might have a strong libra here or Yeah, it's kind of giving me strong Libra energy. Confrontation energy that's coming out very strongly. Confrontation here. So what is the latest gossip about you here? Group 2. The latest gossip is that it's about you speaking your mind there's some sort of a big major major time changes in you in your personality like there is a new version of you and this person could be someone that you know for a while right now they are seeing you to be someone who has a changed person and they can't really figure things out if you can see this completion is give me the energy that as if this person is trying to sort out or trying to put the pieces into a picture here to really uh, kind of 
know you to know what you are thinking right now or to try to yeah if you can see they are trying to calm their mind by connecting all the dots see, there's something that they want to know about you probably the gossip here is that you have seen something here it's talk about take off your mask like you have known something here some sort of a secret or something so this person want to know or probably gossiping about you right i'm saying that uh, group two this is a person here it's in a way does not want to gossip because they want to talk bad things about you but this is a person here is going through some sort of a mental stress here or some sort of a mental situation here where they are thinking about you so much they want to know how much truth that you know in a situation here this could have happened a long time ago it's i'm saying that there could be a lot of days that's passed by it i'm saying here that could 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 have uh there could even be people that uh, advise this person to stop obsessing over you this person could be obsessed over you that this person can even create a uh, numerous multiple uh fake social account in order to keep a trap on you or this person can even went through through some sort of a medium or different channel to know more about you can even uh ask for a tarot reading on you this person could be doing any means to know exactly what is happening to you like they are trying to put this puzzle uh complete because they want to see the whole picture here they want to know something there's some sort of a link or a event that they are missing but they are in a way that they can't come over to speak to you like there is some sort of a mountain here that they can't reach you so but they are trying but they are trying in silence here so at this very moment with this uh home here i'm saying that you probably away from this person you probably have relocated so i'm seeing that the gossip about you that you finally home or there could be some sort of a communication came in and where you have to go back like the gossip is all about that something's happened in your life something which could be very tragic uh some sort of a loss or something here so you are in this uh transformation here In a way, I would say it's a, it's a, it's not a very bad gossip. It's some sort of a confusion. This person definitely thinks a lot because I, I could not able to really pull much about what this person gossip about you. With the speak your mind and fall thought, I'm saying here that this person is trying to put things on rest, or. Uh, they see you as if you are trying to put certain things on dress like you do not want to fight probably you have uh, discover some sort of a truth of a situation here and uh, you speak whatever you meant to speak you kind of walked away or you went back home or you you kind of relocate or something about home some sort of going back to your call center like you went to your call center probably you went back to your center which is your heart and you just listened to your heart and you just did whatever you meant to do and you just walked away like a soldier here like you kind of uh, accepted the defeat you accepted the defeat but you have taught whatever that you meant to teach in that situation and you just walked away definitely there is some sort of a high tower moment here something went down crumble crumble which is uh it's not something that uh could be claimed as a victory here this person definitely gossip that you are trying to overcome some sort of a situation in your life right now but in a way that it is very difficult this person seeing you to go through this transformation releasing 
your anger so this person seeing you to be a different person right now or they get to know that you are to entirely have changed that could be the thing that they are trying to put things uh they are trying to connect the dots because they are wanting to know is that them is that them who was triggering you all the while because i am definitely picking up that this person have somewhat a sexual sexual tensions with you if it is not a sexual tension this can be some sort of a stress like this person feels like this person has been picked upon or has been blamed on has been accused on over something that happened to you so this person feel as if it's not fair it's not right so this person want to know if not this person definitely have a lot of passion towards you and this person feels that they can't really have you and it's kind of that uh eagerness that uh wanting to have you on their harm here so this person to see that this person probably have listened they have listened the gossip about you so the gossip is right now i'm saying that you have let go you have put your sword down you no longer being very defensive you are more welcoming right now you're more warm you are not embracing people right now you are more calm and composed very nurturing you have been nurturing but sometimes you can be sarcastically nurturing here in a way that you know with whom or how you want to give your love you don't really give love to everyone because there's a lot of people that you met along the way but right now things have changed you are no longer wanting to find a uh, win the battle or you kind of realize that the battle that you was fighting all this long is no it's not something that you should so this person sees that you definitely went through a transformation here this can be a spiritual transformation here or something that major happened and you realize that you should be authentic to yourself with this card here take off your mask probably you are doing something very creative something uh this person is obsessed this person is trying to keep a trap uh, sorry keep a tap on you or this person is trying to trap you but they doesn't know how to do it how to start from where to start that could be the reason why they are frustrated so group two yeah the door is closed even if they are trying to gain some sort of an insight of what is happening in your life through tarot through any means any medium any channel everything is closed and the only way is for them to speak their mind or they have to come towards you but it's that is not something that they are wanting or will be able to do so they feel like yeah it gives me the energy that they could actually tell others that you are the one that want to disconnect from them like you chose to walk away from the connection like you chose to abandon them and and walked away like you were the victim here sorry they are the victim here because they were trying to rescue you but in return you have labeled them to become a victim here you have accused them there's something that they are trying to pin on you intentionally or they are trying to give back or cause the same wounds that they have given to you because we have your wounds full of rot and maggots here which is this wound or this situation happened long time ago between you and this person but this person is still wanting to keep that wound alive just so that they would not let you go that could be the reason why they are still replaying all the events in their mind so that they can get some insight about you and they can make something out of it so that they can cause the same wounds to you you might have a strong leo here strong capricorn here we have number 35 number three number six number five number four number two can be very significant here so this is what i have for you group two i really hope this reading resonates with you guys although pretty much <laughs> 
not much juicy gossip that I'm getting about you but um, just a gentle reminder guys for group 2 this could be something that you really have to be cautious if you do you really have to be cautious about who is actually keep trying to um, infiltrate your energy or trying to get into your energy even through social media here because this person is just waiting for an opportunity here to get into your energy here group two so thank you guys for watching i will see you on my next reading guys bye bye hello welcome group number three this is for whoever selected this particular dinosaur here okay okay you are very slippery like this person can't really catch you or they can't really catch something gossipy about you <laughs> right yeah right away this person's energy comes in yeah. this is for whoever selected this dinosaur who's eating an ice cream here so let us see what is the latest gossip about you what people are gossiping about you before we look into this card here i'm going to be pulling out more cards especially for the possible zodiac sign of the person who's gossiping about you group three let us see what is the possible zodiac sign of your gossiper here so we have here uranus energy number 20 uranus rules uranus rules aquarius and gemini I'm not really sure why S sign is really taking charge of the reading for today. <laughs> we have Uranus here. We have Pluto. Pluto rules Scorpio. We have number 20, 22. And lastly, we have Aquarius. Like I mentioned, we have 20, number 11. This could be from your support system. This can be from your family something about family something about roots something about being different or making a difference here yeah letter u p a this person might have a letter u p a on their name here so let us see what is the latest gossip on you group three we have your prayers and wishes something about your prayers and wishes here we have dreams number three we have your temptation number 19 we have your night of salt we have your book we have your justice we have your six of salt we have your lightning it talks about figure shit out on your own okay we have maturity here we have nine of salt and for uh, for hot chocolate here definitely this is a person here who don't really think for a long run or they they are not a very much forward thinking person here or probably that's what they could be gossiping about you with this night of thought here they see you to be very defensive very much action oriented but you don't really think through this person sees you that your mind works in a different way because it gives me an aquarius energy like this person can't really relate to you this could be someone who have went through a certain uh, event of karma in their life because of you group three this is something that you really need to know here right 
so right now what i'm seeing here that yeah with this prayers and wishes here that this person could see that some of your prayers and wishes is coming true that's a light or the sun is shining bright in your life right now like things are really happening whatever that you have wished in the past is coming like there's a lot of a serendipity a lot of happiness a lot of joy lot of serene serene energy you are very content wherever you are so this could be someone that you could have uh, see them to be as your family or some sort of a strong kindredship or a very strong soul tie between you and this person however there could be a certain lightning moment happened here something could have happened and Definitely pile three, I'm seeing that you are not in a communication with this person here. So this person's with this dreams and temptation here, I'm seeing that this person could be saying that you are dreaming over something which is not going to happen. Like you are over fantasizing, you are over dreaming, you are just thinking more than what you can actually achieve in this lifetime like something which is impossible because we have an Aquarius energy unconventional uh, something out of the box which is this person feels that way this can be even with this temptation card this person sees you that you are waiting for a soulmate or you are believing in some sort of a fairy tale or a soul connection which this person feels that it were never gonna make uh, come or never gonna happen in this lifetime because life it's all about reality yeah because we have a pluto here so this could be someone right who is very much uh, ha have faced a lot of reality check in their life so when they see you you are pretty much in your dreamy illusions happy your fantasy so it's like this person's gossip that you are very much in your denial yeah you are in a denial of the de delusion because you are so dreamy things that not gonna happen probably you could be someone that uh, have learned certain knowledge or you read a lot you are a very knowledgeable person this person agrees on that definitely but this person feels that you kind of uh trying to gain a lot of a different dimension here over a simple situation like you're over complicating a situation here or it could be probably because you are too dreamy you're through denial or you are in a, some sort of a delusion here it all goes back to the energy that you are not grounded sometimes i'm seeing you this person can tell that you might be having some sort of a health a mental health problem you are probably going through a depression anxiety or some sound like because we have a vulture here so this person sees you that you have some broken relationship in your life so this person sees that you somehow attracting that to you unintentionally and it's all happening because you are in this denial state but another thing with this justice and six of swords that's what is making them to really think twice here with this justice card and six of swords here what i'm seeing here is that this person could gossip that you you dream too much or you dream very highly but that could be the major reason for your fall or for your failure here because you want instant uh, ramification or you want instant results you want instant things that not going to bring you anywhere you are very impulsive adventurous without really thinking through you don't really have a proper uh, plan you don't really work things based on your plan like you just act out of that heat of a moment here and it caused a lot of a sudden uh, tower moment one after another so this person even could gossip that this person witnessed you starting over and over and over from the scratch probably this can be uh, having a lot of a uh, relationship love connection or changing jobs or uh, opening up a different businesses or uh, breaking up with someone and patching back with them and like breaking up 
like there's a lot of like in and out energy or ending and a beginning ending and a beginning there's a six of swords here this person can even say that you probably uh, are having some some abundance here right this can be legacies this can be inheritance or something from your family here that could be the reason why that you are willing to start over from the scratch all over again like there is no feeling of you want some sort of a consistency in your life yeah this is a person here without them knowing they definitely actually comparing your life with them and that's how they are gossiping about you from that point of view group three this is not something that you should take by heart because this person have certain side of them that they really have to heal yeah because with the uranus energy here right although this can be the zodiac sign from them but it's also kind of like give out your energy too because this is a part that they have it but they are not really identifying that they have it because uranus pluto are two extremely powerful energy uranus which is an energy that willing to regenerate willing to make certain things happen uh, something in a big major range big major extremes here and pluto talks about endings and new beginnings here so this person definitely have that but this person's kind of not realizing that they have it but when they see someone have it in front of them not even you probably not even someone that might have a pluto and uranus on your sign but you just uh, might have that sign or you are going through a certain phase of your life so this person kind of uh, penalizing or judging you and that could be the main reason why they are gossiping about you this person can even say that you are daydreaming you are pretty much living in a daydreaming way like This person says feels that you are not doing right by you like you are not doing right for you by having a proper career not having a proper relationship not being consistent in your life in your life's goal although you can be very knowledgeable you have a lot of uh you could be street smart like you have the necessary life experience yet you are not really alchemizing it but in a way you are causing more complications towards you that could be the reason why i'm saying that this could be someone that might be sharing this information of you towards something towards someone that they are very close to it because this is a very intense conversation here so this could be someone they, that they can gossip about you with someone that you are mutually connected with because they need to do a comparison here group three this person can even say that sometimes you get agitated or frustrated very fast like a two different uh, or even conflicting desires like you want to be you want to aim something big but sometimes things does not happen in the way in your base on your plan and suddenly you become very modest like there's a conflicting desire in you that could be one of the gossip or the things that they talk about you i don't find it this person personally going and intentionally talk about you gossip about you but whenever people come and ask about you probably if it is an intense or a very close con uh, conversation this person might be opening up about all of this uh, definitely it's a more on a judging more on a gossiping but it's in a way that this is a perspective because there is some part of them that they have to heal they feel that you are having a conflicting desires, that you have the knowledge what it takes to be successful, to have a proper, stable things in your life, but instead you are being or living in a denial life and you are not bringing justice to you because you are acting impulsively as a childlike. You are not taking accountability of your life here. So whenever you've been hit by this uh, lightning here, the sudden realization of 
like a reality check you become frustrated then you probably feel very anxious you fall into depression here but this person with this four heart of chakra here i have to say that this person definitely identify your compassion your amount of love that you give up to the world or at least to them they do respect that they appreciate that and they even gossip that you definitely have a big warm heart that you are willing to generously share your resources or anything that you have to others but sometimes it can be overbearing and that's what is happening and that's what this person probably could be gossiping also about you that sometimes you just open your door to anyone to walk in and there could be people who are like a tricksters who people are backstappers who are enablers who just come and take things from you steal from you and you are drained you you met a lot of vultures this person knows that group three So this is pretty much what I'm picking up for you, Group 3. I really hope this reading resonates with you and you're able to get some insight about the latest gossip about you. And let me know in the comment box, guys. I will see you in my next reading. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.